Hey, Dr. Clark here. I want to talk to you about probably the most overlooked cause of vertigo imbalance problems. And you ready? Autoimmune problem. What that means is, is your immune system is attacking different parts of your brain. And it's causing you to have these feelings and symptoms of vertigo and imbalance and disequilibrium and sometimes having eye movements that are crazy. There's a study that just came out in October, which is a fantastic study. And they actually did some statistical analysis. And here's what they, here's what they found. I want you to listen very closely to this. An autoimmune, autoimmunity is the cause for probably 6% of people that have Meniere's in one disease. That means 6 out of 100 people that have Meniere's disease actually have an autoimmune condition. And all the rehab that you want to do and all the drugs you want to take for it aren't going to help it because it's an immune system problem. I hope that's sinking in. I'm going to say it again. 6% of people that have Meniere's in one ear probably have it because they have an autoimmune condition. Their immune system is attacking their inner ear. So all the vestibular rehab you want to do, which of course I do, all the medications you want to take, the advice to just kind of live with it, it's bogus. It's not going to help it. You have to work on modifying the immune system and getting it balanced back if you're ever, ever going to feel good again. Okay, now that was just for many years in one ear. Now, for people that have Meniere's in both ears, it's even higher. It's 16% of cases. So 16 out of 100 people have Meniere's in both ears. They've probably got an autoimmune condition. Now, um, it gets better. This study, and I'm going to kind of flip back here for a second, this study even goes so far to say that balance disorders of central origin may be due to other immunomediated uh, disorders such as MS, brainstem encephalitis. Here's the deal. What someone's finally saying is that lots and lots of people have vertigo and balance problems. They've got autoimmune conditions. Now, I've been saying that for a long time, and of course, I don't have the millions of dollars to do all this funny little research. But if you know someone that's suffering with vertigo, they've got to be checked for this. And don't worry about going to uh, your medical doctor, or your GP, or the ENT, because they're not going to believe you. Because you know what? Most of them don't read. They don't read. They have no idea what's going on in the current literature. They're only doing what the drug companies tell them to do. That's the reality of it. I mean, I'm serious. I'll give you 100 bucks if you can find somebody in your doctor circle that has read this study. I'm serious. I'll give you $100. What they say is, is that its incidence is often overlooked due to the absence of specific, specific, specific diagnostic tests. Well, I got news for those guys. We do have specific diagnostic tests. It's called a functional immune system evaluation, and I do it on just about everybody in my practice because the immune system is a huge factor. So many people have autoimmune conditions, or shall I say functional autoimmune conditions, it would scare you. It would scare you to know. And when we're talking about people that have chronic vertigo, imbalance, they've got to be checked. They have to be checked or they're never going to get better. Uh, I, I'm terribly excited by this paper, and I, I'm pretty much going to share it with uh, all my colleagues and all the doctors I teach because, uh, you know, it just goes to show you that the immune system and autoimmune is a huge overlooked factor in people that are suffering with vertigo, Meniere's disease, plain old disequilibrium. It's got to be checked.